Smile and learn. Can you see that wheel over there? Look at that Ferris wheel. Today, we're going to tell you about two geometric shapes that you can see everywhere. The circle and the circumference. The circumference is a curved, closed, flat line whose points are the same distance from the center. Look around you. Do you see any circumferences? That's right! This ring or this hoop! The circle is a plane figure whose boundaries are a circumference. Look around you. Do you see any circles? That's right! This coin or this pizza! The difference between a circumference and a circle is that the circumference is the line around the circle. And the circle is everything the circumference contains. Or in other words, the circle is inside of the circumference. As you have been able to see, the circumference is a line. That's why we measure its length in yards, inches, or miles. However, the circle is a plane figure. That's why we measure its surface in square yards, square inches, or square miles. We can distinguish the following elements in a circumference and a circle. The center is the point from which all the points of the circumference are the same distance. The radius is a segment which connects the center with any point of the circumference. The diameter is a segment which connects two points of the circumference passing through the center. It divides the circle into two parts. As you can see, the diameter is twice the radius. The chord is the segment which connects any two points of the circumference. The arc is the part of the circumference that lies between two points. The sector is the region between two radii and their arc. Look! It's a slice of pizza! Let's recap the parts of the circle and the circumference. The center. The radius. The diameter. The chord. the arc, and the sector. Well done! Awesome roundup! See you soon, friends! Hello, friends! Today, we'd like to introduce a very famous number found in all circumferences and circles you see around you. It's number pi. Number pi is a mathematical constant which indicates the relation between the perimeter and the diameter of a circumference. But how can we describe this relation? It's about fitting the diameter as many times as possible into the perimeter of the circumference. Let's look here. One, two, three, and a little bit more. That's it. We can fit three diameters into the circumference in a small part, 0.14. That's why we know that pi equals 3.14. We say that it's a constant because number pi is the same for every circumference in the world. In other words, this number is always equal to 3.14. Would you like to check that? It's very simple. Look for a measuring tape and measure the perimeter of a round object you have at home. For example, the wheel of this bike. Divide the length of the perimeter by its diameter, and the result you'll get will be 3.14. Let's see. The perimeter of this wheel is 98.8 inches, and its diameter is 31.4 inches. If we divide 98.8 by 31.4, we'll get 3.14. Now measure the perimeter of this swimming pool. Divide the length by its diameter, and you'll also get 3.14. Let's see. 
The perimeter of this circular swimming pool is 51.5 feet, and its diameter is 16.4 feet. If we divide 51.5 by 16.4, we'll get 3.14. It's like magic, isn't it? The result we get every time we divide the perimeter by the diameter of any circle in the world will always be 3.14. This happens because pi is a mathematical constant. In other words, it's always the same number regardless of what the circles or circumferences may measure. There's a very interesting fact we haven't told you about yet. Pi is represented by this Greek letter, and it's an infinite number. 3.14159265358979323834 and the digits go on forever and ever. In everyday life, this number is shortened to 3.14 to be expressed in a simple way and make calculations easier. Today we learned that number pi is one of the most important mathematical constants. Many architecture, mechanics, or engineering projects wouldn't be possible without the number pi. Today we're going to tell you how to calculate the length of the circumference. You're asking yourselves, what is it? And what's it for? The circumference is a curved, closed, flat line whose points are the same distance from the center. Owing to the fact that it's a line, its length is measured in feet, inches, or miles. The concept length of a circumference can also be referred to as the perimeter of a circle or the perimeter of the circumference. To start with, let's recap some elements of the circumference, like the center, the radius, or the diameter. Remember that the diameter is twice the radius, or in other words, the radius is half the diameter. The length of the circumference equals twice the radius, by pi. Or in other words, the diameter of the circumference, by pi. Remember that pi is 3.14. We are always going to use this number. Let's look at some examples. This circumference has a radius of 2.36 inches. To calculate its length, we should multiply the radius by 2 and multiply by pi. Great! The length of this circumference equals 14.82 inches. Let's look at some real-life situations. Mark wants to decorate this box of chocolates using some wrapping string. The radius of the circumference of the box measures 4 inches. How many inches of wrapping string does he need to buy? To figure it out, we need to calculate the length of this circumference. We multiply the radius by 2 and by pi. Excellent! Mark needs to buy 25.12 inches of wrapping string to decorate the box of chocolates. Let's look at another example. The mayor wants to put a fence around the fountain of the village. The fountain has a circular shape, and its diameter is 29.5 feet. How many feet of fencing material does he need to buy? To figure it out, we need to calculate the length of this circumference. We multiply the diameter by pi. The mayor needs to buy 92.71 feet of fencing material to surround the fountain. For every circumference in the world, pi is always the same number. That is to say, it equals 3.14. If you want to learn more about it, watch our video about the number pi. As you've seen, knowing how to calculate the length of a circumference is very important in construction, 
mechanics, or engineering. How would you like to try with another example? Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.